I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I catch it on Beer Buzz, baby! Welcome to Beer Buzz! Next on the list is so this is the um, 5050 Eclipse by Truckee. This is a uh, barrel aged Imperial Stout, Truckee, um, Truckee, California. Nice. Did I say it's by Truckee? It's actually made in Truckee, and it's made by a brewer called 5050. Gotcha. It's it's the Eclipse. Um, this actually is uh, a barrel aged beer, and they they age them in multiple different kinds of barrels. And you can tell the difference by the color of wax they put on there. So this purple wax is for the Elijah Craig 12-year uh, uh, bourbon. Wow. Um, they did it in, and I looked this up before because I wanted to tell you guys. They, oh, they did some homework. They, 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 right. they barrel aged okay. these things in some awesome barrels. Pappy Van Winkle barrels. They do uh, Four wow. Roses barrels. Uh, I, got a, I got a list here. In 2014, they did them in Elijah, Cle Elijah Craig, Evan Williams, High West, Rittenhouse, Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace, by the way, is an awesome bourbon. For like less than 20 bucks a fifth, Buffalo Trace, you need to go out and get some of that. Um, Good plus. Spanish anyway. rum, Java <laughs> coffee, Four Roses, <laughs> Vanilla Java, <laughs> and Woodford Jeez, Reserve. Boy. Back in two thir uh, Woodford Reserve? That, yeah, that'd they be put good. In, yeah, Woodford. That'd be really um, good. They did Pappy Van Winkle 20-year barrels. That would I mean, be off the chain. To get a hold of a Pappy mm. barrel is, is ridiculous in the first place. So they, they don't play around at 50-50. Uh, That's good. And, and so the, the, the purple, does that mean a different barrel? Is that what you Yeah, saying? so so the purple barrel is Elijah Craig 12-year. Okay. There's a navy blue, a brown, a tangerine, lime, forest green, yellow, olive green. And each of the colors of wax depicts a different uh, type of bourbon barrel that it was aged in. So it could be the same beer, same the bottle. same bottle, yeah. everything, but if it had a blue one, yeah. that would mean something different. Yeah. different right? and, and I've got multiples of these, so we'll, we'll try some more of these. And actually, the next time I think we should, depending on if we like this or not, we can do a, uh, a tasting of different colors of wax you know, side by side and see yeah, if gotcha. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. yeah, you can even tell a the same right? beer we same beer that would be that would be yeah. good to do. Because right. it's it's basically their their standard imperial stout and they find some some whiskey barrels and they age them in those whiskey barrels. Right. And then each year each year they do different uh, barrels. They'll add some barrels or they'll right. use the same barrels. I think they've been doing the Elijah Craig barrels for at least three years that I know of. Okay. Um and that's aged for how long? This one, I, I believe they're aged for like, well, wow, that's a that's 14. A question. Th this is a 2014. Yeah. Yeah. So th this so bottle here is 2014. Up. So it's been sitting up for a year. Should usually, usually, yeah. Almost usually two like years. To, yeah. Almost two years. This was, um, yeah, it doesn't give a month. But um, usually I like to, to sit my, my stouts that are barrel aged for six months to a year. It gives them a chance to mellow out a little bit. Um, yeah. yeah. You know, and, and it's fun to, to take a 2015, a new one, and compare it to one that's a year old, yep. which is something I think we'll, we'll do here on, uh, on Beer Buzz shortly, you know, kind of figure out what the difference is in a, a beer that's been aged for one year as opposed to a beer that's, that's freshly bottled. So what's the uh, alcohol on this one? The uh, ABV on this one is, that's a good question, 11.9%, wow, which good. is that's great. Which is good for a, uh, a barrel age. <clears throat> yeah, so you, you, know, you, want, you want to be above 9, 10%. All right. So how, mu how much yes. would a, uh, that be? That's hard. Why? <laughs> is as far as how much would this bottle cost? Yeah, how much would it cost at a at a craft store? You know, I don't. Beer store? I don't have a clue how much this would cost. I imagine if you if you got it, this is one of those that's um, it's it's limited. It, they they only sell a certain amount of them. So, so probably this, three dollars. Yeah, this <laughs> this one I got in in a it was an extra in a trade that I did. I, I don't know. I mean, I imagine probably it's 15, somewhere in the fifteen to twenty dollar range yeah, okay. if, if you can find it. Right. Now, obviously, the 2014 you can't find, and I don't know how they... That would probably be a 20 or $30 bottle right there. Could be. Yeah. Could yeah. be. I mean, if you, can, now. If you got it now, yeah. <clears throat> right. So. All right. Hold on. All right, so All let's right. do this. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh
We're on camera. Hold on, I'm on photo. All right, go. Okay. Ahead. Beer can. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. It's like a rosy, rusty. Yeah, I like that. More of a rusty, rosy. Why do you give him the most? I don't, I I don't know why that. And then I'm the, I'm the last. I get the remnants. This one you're probably going to want a lot of. Well, too bad. No, I feel like I feel like you're gonna get that. Dude, this right. looks exactly the same as the first one. No Ooh, mill head. All right. Get you some more of that. No, this is definitely. I mean, it's, it's got a great head on it. You guys got a little more head on that one. Ooh, that smells good, doesn't it? I mean, this is this oh. you can already tell. That smells really you good. You can smell. That's that's the difference. You know, you can in a in a good bourbon barrel stout. You know, you can smell the maltiness. You can I mean, smell just a little bit of that bourbon, but, but it's not from boozy. the from the last one we did to this one. I, before I, I even taste it. Yeah. Yeah, now, now look at the difference of this. When you, oh, when you spin right. it around your glass, you can see it sticks to the glass, and you get some legs on it. The other it. one, it it didn't even stick to the glass. It's not yours. Not yours. It was, uh, it, was uh, it was Pepsi Cola. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, you know, you see that how it runs That's down. Awesome. Yeah. Um, it's got some body to you it. You can tell. I mean, just by smelling it, you can smell the it. smell is just it's a, it's a What's it barrel. smell like? You, you can tell, you can smell the bourbon. Mm -hmm. You can smell the you caramel smell the bourbon. to it. You can... Look at that bubble. <clears throat> That's the first thing that hits me is the bourbon smell. Yeah. But it's not like boozy no, where no, it no, burns no, your no, nose. No, you don't no. smell a lot of no, booze. No, 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 because it's, it's like a... Well, all right, we need it's to get to the caramely, tasting because right? I have Cheers. no. All right, yeah, no. Yeah. Just, all right, let's do this. Oh, see now that to me, it's creamy. It's a little. You taste a little bitterness. Maybe you some, definitely some taste the coffee, the alcohol though. You do, you do get a little bit of, little bit of burn from the alcohol, but I mean, you're talking. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. Maybe eleven point. I mean, you have to, you, you have to taste some of that. But I don't yeah. think it's, it's not boozy. It's, no. it's not like no. And, and at juice. the end of it, yeah, I can taste the caramel big time. I man, I love this. I, I, it's like, it's like eating a piece of caramel. Yeah, caramel, and I taste um, some, some dark, dark chocolate oh, malts mm -hmm. and. Uh, but at a little the end, bit of coffee, but it's not bitter. At the end, whenever I sit back at the end, I saw I can taste this caramel. Mm. It's like boom, caramel. Yeah, it's nice. It's awesome. I like it. I got 13, 14, and 15. Ooh. The 15, I think, is is a little. Um, it's still a little hot. Right. You know, it's 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 got some carbonation. It's got mm -hmm. some bitterness to it. You, you can tell how smooth this is. It's almost like drinking a milkshake. You know, it's like a coffee. I get that. Boozy. I get that. Yeah, it's like a caramel coffee. It's a boozy chocolate milkshake. Yeah, you know. I mean, I I really, really, really like this. I do too. I think this is great. I, I like it too. And I like I love imperial stouts. And and a lot of times when you drink an imperial stout in the year that it was bottled, you know, you get this little bite to right, it. Right, right. This is completely mellowed out. It's smooth. Do they have any imperial stouts on draft anywhere? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, all the yeah. time. Where? We had it at Gizmo. Yeah. <laughs> right. We had an imperial stout at Gizmo. Oh, last week. Shit. Yeah. So they do. I mean, they've got them on draft. It's <laughs> forgot it's, all that. One. But that, that's the thing is, it's compare <laughs> compare one of those that's on draft yeah. to, to that bottled already. And it's so. This is so. It's much mellower. Smoother. It's, it's mellower. mellower. And, and that's what happens. That's because you, it's it's sat for it's, a year. It's, it's, it's I like it. I mean, I've got a huge cold. A big cold, um, but to me, I can't smell, but the taste I can taste, yeah. the, and it's very smooth. It has a little bit of backdraft, I call it, where you can you can feel the uh, fire yeah. of the alcohol right. a little bit, but it's not overpowering. Yep. Um, the body's there. Um, it's a it's a nice well run. You have to expect the alcohol yeah. taste, and uh, it, it's just enough to. You know, not to go crazy with it, but but I'm telling you, if you if you compare this to some of the other beers that are at the the twelve percent range, you won't think this is is that boozy. Last last thoughts on on this, um, Chris? Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I mean, overall, it's a great beer. I like it. Uh, I I love the taste of it. Um, the the aftertaste is. I. I love the caramel aftertaste. Yeah. I mean, I love it. Yeah. I, I, the the way it pours, the way it the drinks, and everything, all the way down the line. It's a great beer. Yeah. 
If I got invited to a uh, party like an IBM party, right? At IBM. Yeah. What about SAS? You throw SAS in my SAS, <laughs> SAS last right. week. Right. Yeah. This SAS is IBM. Is so old school. Yeah. No, if I was at an IBM if party, Obama invited me to an IBM party, right? At RTP or something, I it's would so drink this. Yeah. Really? Um, okay. As far as stouts go, Imperial stouts. I still hold Yeti as my high regard, Okay. but this is very close. It's yeah. very close. Okay. I mean, Yeti's not Yeti's not a bad beer. I mean, it's not I, a bad beer at all. It's like a wrong man, you know, to each his own. Uh, I I like Yeti. It's good. Too. It's good. Uh, it's really good. Yeah. I mean, I I enjoy this one. I think uh, I think having sat around for a year, it's it's perfect. It's mellowed out. The uh, the carbonation is really low. You you know, like Chris said, there's there's a caramel backbone on it. Um, you, you taste a little bit of the the coffee and, and the chocolate up front, but it's not bitter at all. Right. I mean, it's in and, and to me, it's I don't think it's boozy. I I, I can taste the the bourbon barrels, um, the the bourbon flavor that yeah, comes out. Yeah, it's a nice char. In but it. I don't think it's yeah. It's, it's a smoky it's a bourbon smooth char. Flavor. Right. Um, yeah. But it's, it's, I, I know it's everything is, is mellowed out and it's it's really smooth. It's it's thick. It's like a it's like a shark, chocolate milkshake. I, I love it. I think it's great. I, I'm, I'm a big fan. And it is the perfect temperature, by the way. Yeah. It's like yeah. fifty some degrees. Yeah. Right there. I it's, guarantee it's perfect it's temperature. Degrees. Yeah. It's um, nice. It is cool, man. Yeah, it's, it's good. Good. Yeah. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.